Tottenham Hotspur have not won any of the last four Premier League games after drawing on Saturday. Mauricio Pochettino Matt Letizier has told Soccer Saturday on Sky Sports broadcast on 2 December 2017 from 1200pm that he thought that had Tottenham kept 11 men on the pitch for the entirety of their Premier League clash with Watford on Saturday, they would have won the game while he also assessed the performances of Dele Alli, Christian Eriksen and Harry Kane at Vicarage Road. Mauricio Pochettino's men went into the game with the Hornets having not won any of their previous three top-flight fixtures and they got off to a pretty poor start with a home side taking just 13 minutes to break the deadlock. De Vincent Sanchez of Tottenham Hotspur is shown a red card Spurs went into the break level with Sun Hung Min scoring, but De Vincent Sanchez left the visitors with a numerical disadvantage shortly after the break as he was sent off. And Letizia felt that had the centre-back avoided the dismissal, Tottenham would have secured a much-needed three points. I think they'll be disappointed, he told Sky Sports. I think if they'd kept 11 men on the pitch they would have probably gone on to win the game because you couldn't really tell, when Spurs were down to 10, that Watford had that extra man anyway. So I think it will be viewed as two points dropped as opposed to one gained. There was some pressure on a couple of Spurs players, with both Eriksson and Ali seemingly coming in for criticism from many of the supporters recently. And Letizia did not exactly heap praise on either player though he was clearly more impressed by the Danes' display. Dele Alli, I would have said Dele Alli was probably below par, Eriksson was OK, he had a hand in the goal, it was a lovely weighted pass across the box for Sun's equaliser. Harry Kane, not up to his usual standards today, he added. See also the staggering statistic that should leave Tottenham playmaker, somewhat embarrassed after such a disappointing run, Pochettino may perhaps be hoping that the next game being a Champions League tie against Apoel Nicosia will do the side the world of good given the lack of pressure on the result as they surely need to start building some momentum heading into the run of festive fixtures.